they're going to be producing more movies. So let's go ahead and jump into this. But before we do, if you like these kind of breakdowns of different movies, different type of articles pertaining to films that we like to watch and we enjoy growing up, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. Now let's head on over here to Deadline, see what Marlon has to talk about, and then we'll go over a little bit over the history also of how these films were snatched from up under us. We got Scary Movie on the way, y'all. Just in time for Halloween. That's a pretty good announcement. Over on Deadline.com, it says the Wayne Brothers reunite for Scary Movie with Miramax and Paramount. Now you remember this? This is a this is an original right here. They were in the theaters. Mm -mm, girl, what you doing? Don't go in there. They like, shh. She like, you shh. She paid that money. This is Scary Movie. This is what we grew up on. This is what we remember. Exclusive. The Scary Movie reboot that was announced at CinemaCon has finally come together with the franchise's architects reuniting for the first time in 18 years for a new original screenplay. The earlier series ended up with the send up of slashers like Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, the new scary movie will shoot next year for theatrical release. The Wayans and Rick Alvarez are writing and producing the movie. We know how the Wayans get down. They, some of the funniest mother effers on the planet, especially the whole family, they all have talent. Now I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring in some fresh faces. The scary movie film franchises were developed by Marlon Wayans, Sean Wayans, Keenan Ivory Wayans, Keenan, wrote and directed the first two films, Marlon and Shine wrote and starred in the first two. Miramax's boss, Jonathan Glickman, exclaims, we are thrilled to reunite Scary Movie with the Wayne Brothers. The brilliant creators behind the beloved franchise, the timing is perfect to bring back the series to the big screen. And we're lucky to have Keenan, Marlon and Shine, unique comedic vision, bringing it to the audiences around the world. Now, I don't know if they're gonna be kind of PC with what we got going on now and how the world is. But I expect to see some of that classic comedy and hopefully we can get it to drop by next Halloween. Marlon, Sean and Keenan told us, we couldn't be more excited to be a part of the scary movie and work with each other again. This is a franchise we created more than 20 years ago. We remember people laughing in the aisles and hope to see that happen again. We look forward to working with Jonathan Glickman and his team at the new Miramax to bring these laughs to theaters where they belong, it's a double reunion. Now, the scary movie comedies during the early ox gross, uh, gross, excuse me, gross north of $896 million worldwide through five movies. Scary movie released in 2000 was one of the highest grossing R rated horror movies of all time back in the day. The film opened at 42.5 million, which was the biggest opening for an R rated horror movie and a black director at the time. So they're showing that they got a history of doing their thing. Scary Movie is a part of Paramount Pictures' first look deal with Miramax. Miramax is the studio behind the franchise and Paramount Pictures is releasing worldwide. Miramax Motion Picture Group president Becky Sovator is overseeing the project for the label. Uh, Marlon Wayans will be seen starring in Justin Tipton's psychological sports thriller, Him, produced by Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw Productions out September 2025. Hmm. So if they did September 2025 for that, this probably won't get released till maybe early 2026, especially if they're filming next year. I don't think they're going to want to rush it to drop right, you know what I'm saying, right when they finish and then throw it out there. I think they're going to take their time with this one. Um, he is currently on his Wild Child tour throughout the nation. Marlon Wayans is rep by Three Arts Entertainment, UTA, Yorn Levine, Barn Sean Wayans is rep by Yorn uh, Levine also. Alvarez wrote such Marlon movies such as Fifty Shades of Black, Six Tuplets, and Naked. Fifty Shades of Black was good. Six Tuplets was, uh, Naked, I don't, I don't even think I finished watching Naked, but I like Marlon Wayans. The Wayans show, the Wayne Brothers show, that was one of my favorite shows. I know everyone has like Martin and Jamie and everything, but the Wayans, that was a slept on show. Marlon Wayans just told the world about the new movie. So over on his Instagram, we got Marlon Wayans, 7.1 million followers. Last week, I had a huge announcement. To make well, here it is. We're back. After nearly 20 years, the Wayne Brothers are finally going to give the fans what they've been asking for, a return to the scary movie franchise. 
We're looking forward to having fun on the big screen again. Now I did mention we're gonna go into some of the information about how the films were snatched from them. But I will say this, I'm excited for them that they actually get the shows back that they started to build. You can't deny the talent that these brothers have and it just flows, you know what I mean? And they always gonna make sure that they family's gonna eat. That's a positive thing. Uh, Wayne Brothers, holla at me. You know, you can put me in there. Just just give me two, three scenes. I ain't gotta say much. Y'all can unalive me. I'll be fine with that. Now, just a quick history of this. We'll go over to Afrotech and it's saying here that, you know, they grossed all that money, but the Weinstein company gave the franchise a shot after it's rejected by other production studios. Variety said, however, when it was time for the third installment, Marlon and his account of what happened with the deal, Marlon said this, we didn't walk away from the franchise. They didn't want to make our deal and they snatched it. Marlon Wayans explained during a conversation with Kevin Hart on the Comedy Gold Mines podcast. We never walked away from our franchise that we created. It was taken from us being the creatives that we are and like, all right, bet. They took it from and you know, I'm pretty sure it hurt. And it was like, damn, man, we were the ones that put the brains behind this operation. We were really the driving force. Of course, you knew Weinstein and the company with the money and everything. But without the brains of this operation, it wouldn't have went like that. But he continued to say, now watch what I create. Make, making matters worse, the Wayans didn't hear they would no longer be involved in the third installment of the franchise directly. Instead, it was brought to their attention after it was shared by a publication around the holidays. The second one they rushed us into and by the third one they didn't want to pay the money so they snatched it we found out on christmas that they hired somebody else to do it wayne's told hart now let's be honest after scary movie 2 the majority of us didn't even watch it but now we know they didn't walk away from it it got pulled from them we know what weinstein had going on behind the scenes a sick individual but sometimes you know Diamonds aren't made overnight. It takes a while for that diamond to to come back out now They're getting a chance to polish this diamond up and present it to the world and they got scary movie back So that's a huge accomplishment right there All right, let me know what you think about the scary movie franchise Which one did you enjoy matter of fact out of all five of them Which did you enjoy but the first two I really liked them I will say that first one was unmatched so I want to see what they do But you know, we're an adult now. So we got to enjoy whatever they present to us it's not going to be the same they probably won't be able to make as many jokes as we would like and from what we remember but we'll see how that goes i'm definitely excited for them i want to see how this turns out i want to see the new actors and actresses that they bring into the show and how they would write this out because we got what a projection of maybe 2026 so we're gonna see um what scary movie is back the way is half control let me know what you think. And if you like these kind of articles, let me know in the comments if you like me doing articles. And if you want to, hit me up on Instagram or just respond in the comments and say, hey, Mo, have you seen that article? And I'll try to break it down for y'all. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.